Welcome to the South Side, everybody, where Chicago and Evergreen Park come together for tonight's C100 Game of the Week. It's a 4A girls super sectional matchup, Holwood Flossmoor against Trinity. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Blaney. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. With me is my partner, Kenny McReynolds. If this game is anything like the pregame atmosphere, we are in for a treat tonight because this gym is jam-packed between two teams, Kenny. We didn't expect to be here. I think when everybody saw the brackets, they expected Whitney Young and Marion. Both number one and number two were knocked off by these teams. So let's start by talking about HF, a team that has not been this far in the tournament since 1997. Yeah, but the one thing they have, Jim, they have a coach that has always been to this tournament in Anthony Smith. A little bit under the radar this year. They were knocked out of the playoff last year by the IHSA, but they're here today ready to make the trip downstate. Trinity has had some great teams in recent years, but they have always run into Whitney Young at some point and not been able to advance any farther in the tournament. Well, they put on a stunner last Thursday night and they knocked off number one ranked Whitney Young to get to this game. And it only takes one point to win, and that's exactly what they did. They knocked off Whitney Young. Not only did they beat Whitney Young, they beat Whitney Young on Young's home floor. That snapped a 124 game home winning streak by the Lady Dolphins. Unbelievable to go into Whitney Young and beat that team. Two minutes to go here in the second quarter. Faith Suggs, face up to the basket, fall away, hits the bucket. Suggs is so good here, Jim. So she looks down low for Ruben. She's not there. Nice little spin move and the jump shot from the elbow. McKenna, 3.11 to go. Lee, top of the key, Aylward. Stritzel, she'll try a three. That's good. Patricia Stritzel, the senior with a three-pointer. Watch Stritzel. You swing it, all the defense goes to the top of the key, follows the basketball. You can normally pass the ball quicker than a defender can really uh, get over. And she was wide open. Stritzel has it. Hits the late forward coming. McKenna with the assist. And another bucket for the freshman, Lauren Lee. She has nine, and the lead is nine. Here you see McKenna coming down court, stops. Nice dribble drive, you swing it back out. See, they're taking their time. Movement without the basketball. Beautiful movement without the basketball by Lee. And again, you just swing the ball around. McKenna, nice bounce pass to Lee once again. We've seen this combination before tonight. Stallworth, they have a timeout if they need it. Johnson to Stallworth, seven seconds to go. Stallworth puts it up high. Won't go, rebound, Lampley ties it. What determination by Homewood Flossmoor. You get the ball inbounds. You go up, hit the shot, won't go. You go up, get the rebound, another shot, and it's down and in. Boy, these young ladies just did not quit. You come in, you swing it. Here you go, Starworth. Gets a pretty good shot, won't go. Ball goes up, and here it is again. Lampley with the rebound. And remember, she was the last substitute in for Flossmoor. Runner by Stallworth, and that's good. Stallworth has 19. Well, Flossmore getting floaters, Trinity getting layups. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes, or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.